Hey everyone, uh, another video here back after a little hiatus. Um, had a problem with my old computer and the camera wouldn't work with Windows 10, so it took me a while to get one that would work. So um, what we have today is a, a small mouth Marabou jig. Um, in the vise we have a 332nd uh, ounce worm nose head with a one aught owner 5313 uh, jig hook. We're going to get started with some Loctite super glue brush on. Just put a little bit around the collar just to hold your thread. And if you take notice, I cut uh, the barbs off. Normally this head would be like this. It would have two barbs on it. I cut it off because they're just going to get in the way. And uh, you're not going to use a trailer with this type of jig. If we were going to put plastic or something on, I'd leave the barbs and we'd uh, work around it. So we're going to get our base started. Again, Danville Flat Wax Nylon 210 denier. Get a little base started and get my excess cut off. Now, the first thing we're going to start with is we're two plumes of marabou. I'm going to take two of them. And what I do is I get two that are pretty decent, get them close to size. Uh, if not, you can trim them up to get them similar in size. I try to find the closest ones so I don't waste that much. And I'm going to put them together by the tips. And the way you do that is just pull the fibers down, wet your fingers a little bit. And then you could take that tip and do that to it. And I'm going to do the same thing on the second plume. Doesn't matter how uh, tight you get them or just keep them close to the same length and make sure you can put them together. This is something they use on the Great Lakes a lot. This here one you're going to use. Uh, River Smallmouth guys will like this. And you're not going to bottom bounce it. You're going to reel it slow up in the water column. Um, right now is a good time for this because you got it's hot a lot of places. And um, the fish are finicky. This is something they don't see a lot. And the action is really good on it. So now that I got my marabou, this is all ready to go. I'm going to take two little things of neck hackle. I already cut these. I'm going to tie them in. Doesn't matter how you tie them in because uh, you just want it to extend uh, further than your marabou. One on each side. little barb remnants are in my way a little bit, but it'll be fine. Now, I like where that's at. Now I'm going to take my marabou that I put together, and I'm going to tie the tips in. And the reason I'm doing two at a time is this is going to give me the bulk that I want. Cut off the little ends. You could fold them little ends in and tie over them if you want to. I cut them off. You'd never even see it if you didn't. So I should have pulled out the hackle pliers, but this will work with my hands holding them together, and then start to wrap. And if you watched any of my videos using feathers before, you know to drill. Pull the fibers back as you're going. And 
And don't get discouraged if it starts looking like it's getting mad. It um, when you finish tying it, it will fluff up. You can you fluff it right up. Sometimes you can get lost in this uh, with how fluffy the marabou is. That's normal. And I'm getting close to where I want to secure this. Good to go there. As you see, we're gonna fluff out the marabou and we're gonna cut our stems off. Careful not to cut your thread. And don't be worried if you pull a few feathers out with it. That's one of the things with working with marabou. Now that I got that, I want to pull my feathers back and make sure they're nice and pointed down and they're not all over the place and I'm going to start making my collar. But we're not done yet. So now we're going to add the second color. Now I have two plumes ready to go, but we're going to start with one. Because if I, I like how thick it is, um, I'll stay with just one of a different color. This is an olive. The head color here on our jig is watermelon. And this color here, what do they call it? Damsel green. It's like um, a lighter shade, almost like um, a chartreuse. This is a hairline dubbing uh, company, Marabou. I like it a lot better than Wapsi. I can use just about the entire pack, whereas with the Wapsi, uh, I throw most of it away than what I use. Uh, it's been bad, and when I inquired about it, I never got a response, so I just started using this instead, and I'm much happier. Use what you like, though. That's the best way. Now we're going to wrap this the same way. I should have said before, but uh, if this gets in your way and it's getting hard to manage, just wet your fingers and you can pull the plumes back and it'll be a little easier to manage. The idea is to get a little bit of bulk with the marabou because it, it does compress fairly uh, a good bit in the water. So if it's not too bulky, you'll get, um, it'll look like a pin minnow when you're, when you're retrieving it. It'll be very small. Uh, not that it won't work, but this tends to have more action. Um, this is a, a warm water hair jig, believe it or not. This is something that works better anytime the water temp is 55 and above. Um, right now, if you have clear water in your area, uh, streams, rivers, uh, they have small mouth in. Even large mouth, it works well for, but the one thing I found is clear water is, is almost a must. You could do some stained water, maybe about three feet of visibility at the least and the simple reason is it, it's not going to move a lot of water You're, this isn't going to make noise it's not going to um, put out a lot of vibration it's basically just going to be in their face you're going to fish fish with this not search for them so if you know it, areas that are holding fish this is going to be really nice you're going to fish it to anywhere from two feet off the bottom 
maybe even six inches off the bottom up until a foot under the surface. It just, wherever them fish seem to be feeding, uh, even suspended fish will bite this. I have a little bit of a stem in there that I'm trying to bend down to make my collar. Fish aren't going to mind it, but I like them to be a little bit neater. It's tied that tight that it uh, doesn't want to cut well. There we go. We're going to make our collar, but not all the way because we got another thing yet to do. Let our fingers bring that back. Now we're going to take some flash with this color, with the, with the darker olive green and uh, the damsel green. And it takes some olive pearl flash. Now that's two pieces. What I did was I took a single strand and cut it in half. And you're going to want it down right to the end of the feather there, right to the end of your marabou. That's where you're going to want it to end or close. Just a little flash. I think it makes it a little bit more, uh, makes it look neater to me. And I, I believe the flash helps. Fold it over, tie the other side in. Cut it to make sure we're good. Finish our collar. And whip finish. I'll do a second one. Wet my fingers and make sure the marabou doesn't come back on me. Trim off the that. A little bit of Sally Hansen's head cement. Done. Now you see how it looks mad at. Fluff it up. And there you have it. That is a marabou jig. A little bit of hackle on it. Some flash. But that's a smallmouth marabou jig on a worm nose head or a mushroom style head. Um, that will work right now. And I used the two different colors. See the darker underneath. The lighter on top. Uh, in the water, that'll contrast really nice. Uh, give it a try. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.